Hello, guys. What's up? How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, good, 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 good. All right, let me change the background. There you go. <laughs> is it better like this? <laughs> okay. Is my background better than like this? <laughs> What's up, guys? All good? Good to see you, Hello. Neda, Irene, Isaac, Nubia, Jose, Ana, Giron. How are you? Good evening. Hey, how are you doing, uh, Isaac? Uh, fine, teacher. Um, I cannot work with uh, my house. It's uh, very strong. It's very... Um, and they is it's not fun, but it's, I can uh, but it's nice. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, sometimes. Um, I'm actually kind of desperate now to, to go out. <laughs> I don't want to be in the house anymore, but I have to, right? <laughs> I want to go out. What about you, Anita? How are you? Uh, fine, good. <laughs> All right. Working, working in my house. Working in your house, from your house, you mean? Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. What about you, Anna? Okay, Anna. How How are you feeling um, with this quarantine so far, Anna? Uh, um, very cool. Um, with hope, <laughs> we hope in, in God. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, it happens, it happens, okay? All right. uh, Isaac, Isaac, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling right it's now. It's, it's very, very good. I'm uh, very, how do you say, it's just a smile. Enthusiast, you're you're enthusiastic. Well, that's good. That's yeah. good. How come though? Yeah, How yeah. come? Uh, where's the studying English uh, with you and my parents uh, and aprender mucho. All right, to learn it's a lot. A, to learn a lot. Okay, good to hear that, man. That's a that's a very healthy and good attitude. Okay. All right, guys. So Irene. How are you, Nene? I I am great. You're um, great. Have happy for the life. Okay. To, to be alive. To be alive. Okay. To alive. be alive. What about you, Nubia? All right, Nubia is getting connected. Moises, how are you, man? Right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. All right, guys, do my favor. Just uh, if you have uh, if you have uh, your TV on, turn it off. Okay, you need to focus on, on the class. All right, very good. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. All right, so yesterday, guys, we were seeing about uh, different um, different cultures in the world. Remember. All right, so right now, guys, uh, uh, we're in um, 5.3, okay? So let's go to exercise 5.3 on the platform, all right? And we're going to see, we're going to see, um, help me read. Um, let's see, Jose, help me read. Okay, uh, now phrases come... Con, let me let me see I can I, I see. Uh -huh. uh, in this class you will learn how to use noun phrase containing relative clauses. Okay, all right. All right, very good. All right. Applause case, applause, applause, okay. Applause for an at this time, okay? Because you may have to see. <laughs> all right, yeah. Pronunciation, pronunciation, guys, phrases. 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 Okay. Phrases. Good job, good job. All right. Containing. Containing. Phrases. All right. Containing. Clauses. Clauses. All right. When you see when you see um the vowel A and U together, guys, 
that sound is like ah, oh. ah, oh. like when you say ah, ah, and then you say ah, oh. ah, oh. classes, okay, classes, all right, classes, classes. All right, good job, guys. Okay. All right, so I let the video explain it for you. Hey, welcome back, Gabriela Santos. How are you? If you have a camera, guys, turn it on, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, glad to have you here, Gabriela. All right. All right, all right, all right. So let's uh, let's get started. Hello. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express your feelings towards traveling to other countries. You'll learn how to use noun phrases to do this. So let's get started by me asking you a few questions, which you should be able to answer with no problems at all by the end of this class. When traveling to another country, would you be nervous about being far away from your family? Would you feel insecure about traveling alone? Would you be enthusiastic about making new friends? By the end of this class, you'll be able to use noun phrases which contain relative clauses in order to express your ideas when it comes to traveling. So let me present some structure at this particular moment. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make sense of these noun phrases which contain relative clauses. Uh, first, we'll start talking a little bit about how we use this as a subject. Uh, then we'll move into the object, probably the object. I'll separate this into a different lecture. So uh, in order to form this kind of um, expressions, first we're going to have a subject. So in this case, this subject becomes one thing. Uh, then this is followed by a relative clause, I really miss. And then we're going to have the uh, verb to be. Uh, in this case, as you can see, it's the verb to be is. And then that's followed by um, an object or a phrase, if you will. So let's write that specific sentence down, and then we're going to try to make sense of it, as I mentioned. Let's do that at this point. Point. Okay. All right. So as I mentioned. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. I didn't know if I was muted. Uh, hello, Gabriela. Nice to see you. I was. No. I was saying, guys. Uh, go ahead and write down. Write down the structure in your notebook and write down the example. Okay. I'm gonna be sending the structure and the example as well to the WhatsApp group. But I need you. It's very important for you to write it down. Okay. All right. So write it down in your notebook and I uh, will be sending that to the WhatsApp group. All right. Oh my God, you're boring. All right, very good. Let's continue. And uh, one thing, sorry, one thing becomes the subject of the sentence. I've I've colored that in green so we can <laughs> uh, see the difference between what's a verb and what's a what's a. Uh, what's a subject, what's a relative clause, what's a verb, and what's the object of this particular idea. And this is followed by the relative clause. I, I colored this in blue so you can see what, what I'm referring to the relative clause. And then the verb to be. Now the verb to be needs to match with the subject, if you will. So if the subject uh, were to be plural, then this should change to are. Um, and then it's followed by the object of the sentence. So in this case, my mom's cooking is the object of the sentence. What we're going to do right now is we're going to include a lot of uh, relative clauses uh, so that you can see that uh, this topic could it can become a little bit confusing. But if we understand uh, this structure, it, it shouldn't be difficult to complete. So let me include um, lots of relative clauses. All right. And... 
what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of it, but we're going to try to uh, make different sentences with them. All right. So um, I mentioned one thing. Um, you could you could express this idea by saying something, right? Uh, you could also say two people, or you can say two things, or you can say uh, two things that I miss would be, and then you mention what those things are. Um, but um, let's try to make sense of it here. Um, so one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. So I've included uh, a few relative clauses, and let me get you to answer this by me asking you the question. So what would you be nervous about? when traveling to another country what would you be anxious about what would you be comfortable with what would you be curious about what would you be enthusiastic about what would you be fascinated by um, let's say that we choose the country uh, maybe France all right so France seems like a very touristic place and I think that a lot of people would like to travel to this particular country so let's do that second one one thing I'd be nervous about is all right, that's going to follow the bird to be. And maybe for me is getting lost. All right, uh, let me try to keep the format a little bit because I want you to notice that we have one thing is the noun. Uh, the relative clause is I'll be nervous about. Then this is followed by the bird to be. And then this will be followed by the object of the sentence. Okay, so for me, one thing I'd really be nervous about, or one thing I'd be nervous about, is getting lost. One thing I'd be anxious about. All right, guys. So there is one thing that I wanna I wanna point out here. Okay, so these relative clauses, what you got in in blue. All right. Remember that relative clauses, guys, are also that. Right. Which. All right. I'm using a mouse, okay, so it's hard. A wish uh, or who, for example, right? So anything that comes before the verb to be now, what we got highlighted here in blue, these are uh, this is the relative clause, okay? Because it's a it's a whole phrase, though, okay? One thing I really miss is my mom's cooking, okay? Una cosa que realmente extrañaría when you're using when you when you're using the contracted form I, okay, like this. Right, I'd. It is a contracted form of I would, okay? So when you use it like this, guys, you're talking about, okay, an imaginary situation, okay? Just write it down, write it down if you didn't know, right? So it is an imaginary situation, okay? Por eso es que extrañaría, no significa no. extraño o extrañé, no, right? Extrañaría, same in Spanish, okay? It's an unreal situation. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, okay, very good, okay, all right, so the structure, it's, it's, it's the same, right, it's, uh, so after the relative clause, you come up with the uh, verb to be, okay, so in this case, that verb to be is is, okay, because uh, you're talking about that one thing, one thing I really miss is my, my mom's cooking, but what about, what about if we say, um, Things, okay. What what if what if we say things? Things. I'd really miss. Okay. What if we say things? In Ada, what would you, what would we, what would we use in, uh, as the verb to be here? Things. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Remember I, I, the subject. The subject is one thing. Okay, one thing is a subject. Okay. So when the he, subject in this case is is. That means that the verb to be changes to is, right? Because this is third, third person. Third person. Third, right? third, right? Third, right? This is third person. Now, yes. so in, in the case that I said things, things. Is third person two? Now, what would it, what would the, the verb uh, to be um, changed to? Uh, is that is a thing is a um all right let's go gabriela go good job another good job mm, yes it's a verb because it's one but no. thing, but but now we're using yeah. things okay we're using things this time okay mm -hmm. are 
Very good job, okay. Right. We'll use what uh -huh. we'll, okay. What will what will we be using uh, in Ada? Are okay, thanks. I really, exactly. There, yes, it's plural. Oh, so plus plus for Gabriela, guys. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Finally. <laughs> all right. very good, very good. All right, el rollo, el rollo de papel, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, welcome, Wendy Oscar. Nice to see you again. Uh, uh, let's see, Guillermo Santos. Nice to see you again. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, so at the end, okay, then you got the compliment, right, or the object, okay. All right, so we're going to skip this part because I explained it to you already. Now, guys, uh, another thing here in this section, like right here, right, right here, right here, right here, 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 here. All right, you can add that, okay? One thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking, okay? But this is optional. This is? Optional. Optional, okay? Yeah. Oh, I remember that I'm using a mouse. Perdona, <laughs> let me use a mouse, okay? <laughs> All right, good job, good job, good job. All right, so let's continue. Getting to know this new city. One thing I'll be comfortable with is the weather. One thing I'll be curious about is learning about the country's culture. One thing I'll be enthusiastic about is um, so just one last thing that I would like to mention that if I change the subject to plural Okay, I Will need to change the verb to be and I will this is what I was just explaining got it It's a look at how I start explaining right also need to change the object because both things need to be plural They need to match right. with whatever so. the subject is so for example two things I really miss are my mom's cooking Okay in my room at home. Okay, okay, that's just now he's adding guys aquí está agregando otra cosa porque él especificó two things, you get dos cosas, okay? Right. So two things. You got you got your mom's cooking and you got your room at home, right? All right, very good. Just to give you an example and if, if practice this concept. All right, do me a favor guys, do me a favor. Pronunciation, everyone after me, okay? Nervous. Everyone nervous. Nervous. Okay. Anxious. Nervous. Anxious. Anxious. Okay. Anxious. Very good. Comfortable. 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 All right. If you if it is too hard to pronounce that, guys, because it is hard at the beginning saying comfortable, it's comfortable. Right, no. comfortable, comfortable, okay? Now, if it is too hard, just say no. uh, comfortable, okay? You can say comfortable. It is absolutely okay, okay? It want comfortable. 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 Right. Do me a favor, don't say comfortable. comfortable. That doesn't exist. Comfortable. Right. Okay, now this one, guys, this one, okay? In Spanish, guys, in Spanish, nosotros tenemos la, la, la mala costumbre de decir las cosas. Um, Unir dos vocales y decirlas como una sola, right? In this case, guys, we got more syllables, okay? Ustedes usualmente dirían aquí curious, right? Pero en realidad tiene una de Q, or I should say, lee como Q de cubo, right? Q, and then re, and then you, who's, okay? Curious, they want curious. I was curious, right? Le repeat, guys, curious. 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 No, 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 no. Curious. 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 All right. Curious. Same as the, the, the movie, The Fast and the Furious, okay? It is Furious, okay? Furious, okay? Everyone, Furious. Furious. Ah, Furious. All right. All right. All right. That, that pronunciation, guys. No, they got Furious or Furious. And again, no, Furious. Okay, Furious. Everyone. Furious. Furious. Very good. Okay. All right, everyone. Enthusiastic. Everyone, enthusiastic. 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 Like this, right? And enthusiastic. 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 Lo que le quiero decir es que no lo una. Enthusiastic. No, enthusiastic, no. Enthusiastic, okay? Enthusiastic, okay? 
Enthusiastic. Fascinated. 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 Good job. Fascinated. All right, very good, guys. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's keep moving on. We're almost done with the platform. Okay, guys, so do me a favor, okay? I needed to ask question number one, okay? We're going to practice these three questions. Do me a favor. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. And I needed to practice them, okay? Try to use relative clauses. Just give me a natural answer. Now, guys, if you want to give me a natural answer, I need to do this, okay? Uh, write this down. Write this down in your novel, okay? I need to say the what. Uh, I needed to say the where, the when, the who, the the why, and the how. Okay. Now, for example, for example, guys, if I ask you, or right, if I ask you, the first question, right? First question, which yeah. is, would you be nervous to be far away from your family? Okay. Estarías, te, te pondrías nervioso estar eh, lejos de tu familia? Okay. If I answer that question, then what would be? Being far away from family. What would be, what would it be, guys? What would, be, what, what would it be, Oscar? Let me see. Uh, I, I wouldn't be nervous about being far from Okay, the, the question is this, okay? The question uh -huh. is this, okay? This is the question right here, okay? Now, what I'm asking is, when you're giving an opinion, cuando están dando una opinión, guys, si quieren, usar, si quieren sonar fluido, digan esto, okay? Right. O sea, desglosen así, break it down like this, right? Uh -huh. Use the what, all right? The what, el que. Uh, so, you know what? Being far away from my family would make me feel really scared because I imagine being... Uh, being, for example, alone in Mexico, okay? So, estoy dando un where, un donde, okay? Uh -huh. um, I think about it and um, I, would, I, would, I would imagine, you know, spending time alone during Christmas, Christmas and uh, having nobody, all right, nobody uh, from my family around me, right? So, aquí estoy dando el donde, right? Um, so, the who would be? Nobody, okay. Then why? It would it it would make me feel afraid because of loneliness, okay? All right, that's an example, right? And the how? The how is by not being close to my family. Okay? Got it? Got it? Got it? Okay. So, so le voy a enseñar cómo suena eso, okay? So one thing that would really make me feel scared is being far away from my family. I imagine in a situation where I have to be alone in Mexico, spending, you know, trying to enjoy my vacation. Um, however, when I think about it, spending time alone during, uh, during Christmas, for example, right? And having nobody to talk about will make me feel really afraid because of loneliness, you know? Because I would not be close to my family, see? So not bien fluido, right? Incluso en español puedes aplicar esto, okay? So not bien fluido solo siguiendo estos pasos, okay? Now, la otra cosa, guys, eh, no es necesario que lo digan con eso, ¿ok? Eh, yo, por ejemplo, aquí empezaría con el what, el why, y después uh, con el how, ¿ok? Y después con, con lo demás, right? So, being away from my family would make me feel afraid because of loneliness, by not being close to my family. I imagine in a, a situation where I would be in Mexico, spending time uh, alone during Christmas and have, having nobody to talk about, right? ¿Sí? Otra vez, una bien fluido, ¿got it? Got it, guys? Got it. Okay. All right. So <laughs> now, question number one. You're going to practice together porque ahora tenemos tiempo ya que casi terminamos la plataforma, okay? So practice, guys, talking. I'm going to check on you. Necesito, guys. ¿Quieren que se los envíe al grupo? Yeah, I'll please. Yes, yeah. okay. please. Yes, please. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, let me send it right now, okay? Okay. There you go, okay? All right. Let's go. So, ya lo envié al grupo, guys. Let's go ahead and practice, okay? Go, 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 Power Rangers. Ok, 
teacher. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, so I'm sending somebody with you here. Let's send me Okay, there you go, there you go, okay. All right, so let's practice, let's practice, okay? Um, the, the question and everything is in um, on the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. All right, okay. continue, continue, continue. <clears throat> Hello. <Okay>. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let, uh, I sent you the information to the WhatsApp group so you can find. Yes, teacher. All right. Angel, would you be nervous to be far away from your family? Yeah, like it. Teacher, I. I Huh? How I respond this this question? Do you have access to the WhatsApp group? Uh, yes, I, I have the, the 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 message. Okay, all right. So there is an example there. Okay, so take a look at my example. Uh, Eneida, mm -hmm. yeah. give give your answer. Okay, so the example there, Angel. That's a, 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 a the example is actually. Um, exactly how I needed you to answer, okay? Exactamente como, como necesito que responda, okay? So, lo que yo respondí es, what? Okay, so being, being, being far away from my family would make me feel afraid because of loneliness. Um, not being close to my family, um, by not being close to my family. I imagine a situation where I'm alone in Mexico, for example, spending time alone during Christmas and having nobody to talk about, see? Ahí di una respuesta fluida usando el what, why, how, where, and when, and who. Entonces, pues puedes decir, uh, la pregunta es, ¿estarías nervioso de estar lejos de tu familia? ¿Ok? So, eso es lo que te respondas. I would be. All right, te voy a escribir el ejemplo. Um, I think, por ejemplo, ¿ok? Or I consider, I consider that being away from my family, okay, así puedes empezar, como lo mandé en el chat, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it right, Neida, give me an example, let's go. Uh, um, eh, con la misma pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, sí, I, I think that uh, I will, I will, I will be sad because uh, I I will be uh, far from my family. Okay. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Okay. Ahorita me dijiste, uh, me dijo what and why. Uh -huh. Necesito the where, when, who. O sea, el where, when, and who, and how son ejemplos, okay? They're examples. For for example, Angel, um, I would really sad. I would really. I would really. Uh -huh. You're missing the verb. Okay, estamos el el verbo. I would mm -hmm. really. Um. Ansio, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice ansioso? Uh, I would really feel anxious. 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 Okay. I, I really anxious. I no. I would really feel. I would really feel. I would really feel anxious. Okay. Anxious. I re, I really feel anxious. I would really feel anxious. I would, I would really feel anxious. Ah, correct. For example. Ah, uh -huh. exactly. For example. Ahora, por ejemplo, ahí me dice dónde, el cuándo y con quién. Got it? All right, got it, got it, got it. All right, I'll be right back. Think about your answer. Okay, Angel, let's go, let's go. Okay, I need to check out the other guys. Good job, guys. Good job. What's I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jose. How are you doing? Uh, Jose. Sorry. Hello. Let me hear your practice. Let me hear your practice, okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I'm not there. The battery is, is low. <laughs> oh. And I get it uh, all. My she, she went to the charger. The charger. Oh, she, she went to grab the charger. Okay, all right. Now, yes. now practice, practice, practice. Yes. 
No. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the world making me feel afraid because of lonely? Because of lonely? Because of loneliness, okay? Loneliness, sorry. Loneliness, thanks. okay. No problem, thanks. right? Okay, continue, continue, continue. Okay, thanks. Ah, right, continue. Okay, no, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the, what is long, like, lonely? Loneliness, solidarity. Loneliness. Uh, okay. No. No, okay. I don't have. I, uh, I, I don't wouldn't. Have, I don't I, feel. I wouldn't feel. I no. wouldn't. Feel. Mm -hmm. Feel. Lonely. I wouldn't feel lonely. Oh, okay. All right. So, what's your take on it? What's your take on it means, ¿cuál es tu opinión? Okay, what's your take on it? Okay. Uh -huh. what's, what's your take on it? My, me. Uh -huh. uh, Give me your it's answer. A mom, it's a moment independent. In, of, in, it's a moment. Of independence. Uh, uh -huh, independence. Very good job. Very good job. Continue. Continue. You continue. take. Continue. Uh -huh. In holiday, I don't know, I can, I couldn't see oh. them, so. Okay. Ah, all good, all good. I, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't, okay. couldn't, I would what, Guillermo? Yeah. Take a look at the image on WhatsApp, guys. Okay. All right. Remember, this is what I want you to use. Okay. You can change this to whatever you want. All right. Uh, we being being far away from my family wouldn't make me feel anything because um, oh, I don't love my family. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I could easily be in Switzerland enjoying um, coffee, beers, you know, meeting new people. See, I just hablando del don y del quién. I would easily be in Switzerland um, talking with with people, you know, meeting new people. Um, then uh, usually, I, I would, I think, I, I would love to go there during summer, you know. Entonces otra vez estoy diciendo el when. Got it. So just talk, like, follow, follow the structure. So solo el what, why, where, okay? And use the example that I gave you before. Use the example on the, um, use the example from the, from the video, right? Being, being far away from my family, see? My family, okay, and then you can use would or you can use wouldn't, okay? And then we need a verb, okay? Wooden plus verb in base form, okay? All right, because this, this right here, this is a model, okay? This right here, it's a model, all right? Model. And models modify the models. verb, okay? The modales, o sea, no, no significa modales en español, right? But the uh, models, okay, modify the verb. Ellos modifican el verbo, right? And the verb has to be in base form, right? So being far away from my family wouldn't make me feel anxious because blah, blah, blah. Got it, Wendy? Yeah. Hey, you look better today, Wendy. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, you look healthier. Um, I hope so. <laughs> All right. Get, get better. Get better, okay? All right. Thank I'll you. be right back, guys. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello. Uh, What's up, teacher Oscar? <laughs> okay, we are talking about the, the things that will make us nervous of being far away from, from family. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like right now, though, because of isolation, you know, because of the quarantine. <laughs> oh, it's true, it's true, right? Uh -huh. All right, let's uh let's move on. If you if you finish, let's move on, okay? Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Very good, very good. Hello. 
Uh, I'm here. Let's wait for everybody. Let's wait for everybody. All right, guys, so right now we're going to see about inverting the structure that we just saw, okay? All right. Let's take a look at the screen, guys. Okay, now, when you're expressing opinions, okay, and don't worry, I'm going to check on you right now, okay? But uh, when you're expressing opinions, um, <clears throat> you can do it in two different ways, okay? You can say, my mom's cooking is one thing I really miss, okay? Or one thing that I really miss is my mom, my mom's cooking. O sea, lo pueden intercambiar. Es el, eso, eso es el, uh, lo, que estamos, lo que vamos a ver a continuación, okay? Que el sujeto, hold on, okay? El sujeto, oh, 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 hold on. Okay, entonces, el sujeto acá, que era one thing, all right, pasa al otro lado, okay, donde es, está el, uh, donde está the object, okay, so in this case, take a look at this scenario right here, right, aquí, el sujeto, the, the, the subject is the first thing that we talk about, all right, so one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking, pero lo que vamos a ver a continuación, that the object can become the subject, okay, my mom's cooking, por eso vamos a ver acá. My mom's cooking. Is one thing I'd really miss. ¿Sí? Entonces ahora, todo o sea, lo que nos estamos enfocando es en la cocina. O sea, en, en, en cómo cocina tu mamá. ¿Ok? La comida de tu mamá, la cocina de tu mamá. ¿Ok? La forma en la que cocina. Eso siempre va a ser nuestro, nuestro, nuestro principal, um, what we're talking about, uh, nuestro punto de referencia, okay, or point of reference, all right? This sentence right here, my mom's cooking is one thing I really miss, is the same thing as saying, one thing I'd really miss is my mom's cooking, ¿sí? Es una cosa, una cosa que realmente extrañaría es la comida de mamá. La comida de mamá es una cosa que realmente extrañaría. No hay más ciencia que eso, guys. Solo es decir la misma cosa de, 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 de diferente manera, ¿ok? It's saying the same thing in a different way, ¿ok? All right, so let's just finish watching this example. But it's pretty much what I explained, guys. So don't, no se compliquen la vida con eso, ¿ok? Subject of her sentence. And also that would follow the relative clause. So literally this is what I'm going to put here. I separated it so that you could see actually what happened there. All right. Um, but the, the noun, uh, and I, I think I colored that differently. So let me make sure everything matches here. All right. Um, and that's basically what happened. Just a couple of things changed. Number one, we had to change the object of her previous sentence to that being the subject of her new sentence. So my mom's cooking. Uh, and then that followed the verb to be. So the verb to be follows the subject. My mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. If we look at our previous examples, the ones that we did in our previous lesson, uh, in which we said one thing I'd be nervous about is getting lost. So let's say that I wanted to change this idea and I wanted to use this uh, noun phrase, but now being used as the object, all right? Um, and, and so let me write that idea down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this, uh, this activity getting lost, which in our previous sentence was the object of our sentence, and we're going to change it to the subject. So for example, we'll say getting lost, all right, that's, that's, uh, that becomes the subject of our sentence, okay? That follows the verb to be, is, and then um, that will follow 
uh, the noun phrase, right? So we're gonna say is uh, one thing, okay? And then that follows the relative class. I'll be um, nervous about, all right? Uh, very important. I want you to notice what happens with this preposition. This preposition uh, will typically go at the very end, as you can see. So I want to emphasize this real quick. Um, and what I would like for you to do is to use um, the same ideas that you wrote down in the previous class, but change the order of them. The goal is to practice. As you can see, um, we, we have the same ideas here on the example. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends. What we do is we change the order of this and we say... Okay, guys, so it's, it's just what, what, we explain, what we just explained, okay? Now, before we jump into the paragraph, let me check on you, okay? All right, super quick, okay? Super quick, okay? El ganador se lleva, ya sabe, papel higiénico y alcohol gel. Oscar, okay, very good. The golden toilet pepper. Toilet pepper, right? The I'm, missing, I'm, missing, I'm missing my pilsners, dude. <laughs> Okay. That is something that I miss right now. <laughs> no, you can go to the supermarket. No, I don't like going to the supermarket. I don't like going out right now. I'm scared, okay? okay. All right, good job, guys. Good job. Okay, so let's answer. Okay, Oscar, okay? So you're going to answer what is uh, one thing you're really scared of, okay? I'm going to give you an example, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Say one thing. Where? One thing that, this is optional. This uh -huh. is... Everyone, uh -huh. this is optional. Optional, okay. Optional. That I'm scared about the wow. going out, uh -huh. going out uh, to the supermarket. Uh -huh. Market during the how do you say pandemic? Quarantine. Pandemic. 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 Uh, pandemic. Okay, very good, okay. All right, or I can you can say. Going out to the supermarket yeah. is something that I'm really scared about. I will, I will. Okay, exactly. Remember about guys, if you use if you use this as an as a subject, about goes at the end. La okay. Uh -huh. In this case, I'm okay. scared about scared about is siempre va después de la palabra scared. Okay, so now what is one thing you are really scared of? Okay, Oscar, no mistakes, three, two, one, go. You got 10 seconds to answer, go. One yes. thing um, I, I, I would really scared about is, uh, one thing I would I'd be scared about is my own blood. Okay, very good job, all right? My, for Oscar, my own blood. Beautiful My job. own blood okay, all right. uh, is one thing that I will be really scared about. Why? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, all right. Very good job. Oscar, good job. All right. Oscar, uh, applause for Oscar, guys. Woo. Very good. All right. Guillermo, go, Guillermo. Huh? Guillermo, I can hear you, Guillermo. Yes. Okay, talk louder, talk louder, please. Number two. Uh huh. To be must be curious about it. No, 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 no. No. No, All right, Guillermo, no. Guillermo, the question, okay? The question, think about your answer, okay? Guillermo, vamos a favor, escriba la, escriba la, la pregunta y la respuesta en el que va a dar en el cuaderno, okay? Right? okay. De, después se la pregunta, right? I think, Guillermo, you have issues with listening. <laughs> right, good job, man, good job, okay? All right, uh, let's see. Hey, Neida, let's go. Uh, I really scared don't found food and water. Okay, I really scared. All right, listen. This is here's the example, Eneda. Eneda, the example, I, I, the example I, is here. The example is here. See. Uh, one thing. Uh -huh. One thing. I'm. I'm scared. Uh, uh, one is, thing. <coughs> okay, one thing I'm scared about, or I would be scared about. Uh huh. I will be scared about is done fun, done fun, food and uh -huh. water. 
care about is don't found, okay? Don't found, okay? Oscar, what's wrong with this sentence? Uh, about is don't found. One thing I, uh, one thing, why really? Is, and say, I really scared, okay? One thing. I really scared. One thing. Uh -huh, one thing. I'd be scared about is, okay, is, in this case, guys, is not finding, everyone, not finding. Not find. Okay, all right. The noun, guys, has to be in ing form, okay? Okay, okay. esta parte, guys, es otra explicación, después se lo explico, but uh, it's an ing, uh -huh. okay? And hey, uh, let's go, Wendy. Uh, one thing that I really scared about is losing a loved one. Okay, uh, you said one thing that I'd be scared about what? One thing that I really scared about is losing a loved one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, is losing a loved one. Very good. Applause, applause for Wendy, guys. Super, super good, okay? Losing a loved one. Okay, good job, right? Let's go. Gabriela Santos, go. One thing I just care about is when I lost in a department that I don't know. Okay, department. Okay, you mean a place, in a place? Ah, a place, okay, that a I place that Good I job, but that, that, was, that was good, okay? Applause, guys, applause, 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 yeah. okay? You know. Angel, let's go, Angel. Angel. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I is care. Okay, I one thing about... I, I would, I would, okay? Or am. Um. Okay, one thing I, I go care about I would okay recorda recorda que would es un modal okay would is a modal modifica los verbos entonces después de would tiene I would tiene que tener un verbo I would verb to be okay I would be is <clears throat> uh, scared uh -huh. about about <clears throat> Is. Alright, después de is, guys, el verbo, el, lo que sé que tienen que decir, el noun, si van a decir un, 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 un noun que uh, uh -huh. tiene que ser con la forma ing, ok? Va, okay. Is. Is, this is saltar de precipicio, jumping off a cliff, right? Or a building. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Angel? I. <coughs> All right, think about your answer, Angel. All right, Anna, let's go. Anna, think about your answer, Angel. I'm going to ask you again, okay? All right, Anna, let's go. One thing that I'm scared about is... All right, city endings, city endings, okay? Scared? Scared? Scared. Scared, very good. Okay, continue. Scared about is um, walk at nine. Okay, remember, ING form, okay? Walking at okay, night. At night, okay, good job. A plus for Anna, guys, super, super good, right? Irene, let's go, let's go, Irene. Okay. Uh, one thing. Uh -huh. One thing I start, start about is when I don't have food. <laughs> okay, I don't have food okay very good job okay now pronunciation here uh it ain't one thing that i'm okay that i'm scared about got it but overall good job applause for you know, guys super super good all right you are hungry moises exactly moises let's go moises one thing that i'm scared about it is going to the market and no finding anybody or anything Okay, is very good job. All right, applause for Moises. Que ni siquiera lo pude escribir. Super good, okay? Very good. I couldn't even write, type it in, right? All right, but that was very fluent, Moises. Very good, okay? He said going to the supermarket and not finding food, I think he said, right? Not finding anybody? Oh, anybody, okay. That would be good, man, because you don't have any coronavirus then, right? <laughs> good job, good job, right? 
Nubia, let's go, Nubia. Nubia. All right, I don't know what happened to Nubia there. Okay, good job, guys. Good job, good job. Okay. All right, uh, Angel, one more time, Angel, one more time. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, one one scene I'm scared about is is fall is falling off of a building. A bill. Falling off a building. Okay, good job. Applause for for Angel, guys. Angel, all right. Thanks. You're supposed to have wings so you can't fly, okay? You should not be scared of falling off buildings, right? Supone que los ángeles tienen alas, right? Ah, <laughs> just kidding, man. <laughs> Angel never smiles. <laughs> All right, very good, Angel. Good job, good job, man. All right, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, very good, guys. So let's, ex let's do exercise 5.5. And then, uh, and then uh, we're going to... Oi... Oh, no, no, no. It's already time, okay? So, uh, let's finish 5.5. 5.5, guys, okay? Vamos a terminar hasta el 5.5 hoy. Three quick questions, okay? Uh, let's work in couples. You got three minutes, tres minuticos, y termina con eso, okay? All right. So, let's go. All right. Join in, guys. Join in. In with with how response good job how are you doing guys any question any question so far is it good what question you're doing exercise 5.5 all right yes all right any question nubia Okay, we left. All right, continue, guys. Continue, continue, continue. All good, guys. So far, so good. Yes, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. About. Um, about. About. Yes. Yes. Is, yes. is, is correct. Uh, it's correct. Okay. Uh, 
for number three will be number one. Number one. Mm-hmm. For number one is curious will be most curious. Uh-huh. Curious. Uh, About sorry, Oscar. sorry, Oscar. Uh -huh. The article that is before most. No. Most. No, I don't think so. The most. Well, let, let's try. Uh, let's try. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good question too. Good question. Okay. Uh -huh. The thing I will be mass or mouse. The most. How do you pronounce it, teacher? Most, most or most most uh -huh. because I did I didn't get the pronunciation. The thing I will be most curious about uh, is meeting people my age. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let me try. Right. Let's 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 see. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Okay. I'm <laughs> still uh, okay. I will be excited by is trying the local food. Fine. Trying. Trying. Así como está ahí. En minúsculas, porque si no creo que le va a dar error. Trying the local food. Ay, quiet, no le entiendo. Así como está escrito ahí. O sea, solo hay que reordenarla. Ah, trying. Spanish, no Spanish, Wendy. Sorry. Trying. Good, you're good. Trying the local food. Decided by is... Trying the local food. Is trying. I could I could be anxious about it about it about it yeah cool very cool because there's no falta una cosita nada más Curious about is the curious about is casi la misma estructura. All right, good job, guys. Good job. Let's head back to the uh, to the base screen. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, good job. The most time. Solo en la dos nos quedamos, Ana. Yes. All right, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So uh, let's take a look at the answers. Okay. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yes. Okay. No, no. Very good. Okay. So the answers, guys. The answers are these. Okay. All right. It's basically what we're practicing. All right. Uh, all right. Guillermo, did you get all the answers? Oscar, did you get the, did you get all the answers? The the number two we were, we were missing. We were having a trouble. Okay, but did you finish yeah, it? Well, oh, no, no, no. I okay. just seen the, I'm watching it. The, the thing, the thing I would, I would be, be the most curious about, okay? Okay, the thing. The thing uh, I would be the most curious about, okay? Oh, got it now. Got it now. Okay. About. 
there are multiple ways. I mean, the correct answer is in here is that, right? But uh, there are multiple ways that you can say that. For example, one thing I would be most curious, curious about, curious about would be uh, meeting new people, uh, meeting people my age. Uh, the one thing or uh, the one thing that I would be the most curious about, okay, so. But in this example, reordering the, the, the worst case, this is what you come up with, okay? All right, guys, so, uh, very good job. Uh, we're just missing, we're just missing uh, two more exercises, okay? And then we got, we got uh, the mid to the for uh, week. All right, so we're a little bit ahead of time, guys. Estamos un poco adelantados, so we're going to be reviewing a couple of stuff, okay? If you have any questions regarding something, okay? Porque vamos un poco adelantados, todavía nos falta una semana, okay? Got it? Got it. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, guys, I got another class right now. I got to go. Take care, guys. All right, thank you for coming. Ángel, Ana, Eneida, Guillermo, Irene, Oscar, Wendy, José, Moisés, Lato, Nubia, and Gabriela Santos. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.